Okay, a new study revealing that a specific gene in some people's DNA may explain why kicking that nasty smoking habit is actually more difficult compared to other people without the gene. Mm. Dr. Samadhi, is there something to this? Well, this is very interesting because the question is why some people continue to uh, smoke their entire life and they never get lung cancer, they never have emphysema or COPDs, and some people may smoke a little bit and they can die from this. And we're starting to find out that there's a specific gene on chromosome 15 that would make you more susceptible and more reactive to some of these smoking. Big message is if you haven't started, please, please don't smoke. And you can also go to 800, quit now to get a lot of help. Smoking affects your entire body, not just your lungs, your kidneys, your bladders, and the entire system. So this is still evolving. This study is still evolving, but we will, we're getting closer that part of the brain, just like alcohol, addiction, sex, mm -hmm. the reward center of the body, food, smoking has also it occupies part of that, and you can desensitize and build up tolerance on smoking, so don't start. Smoking, you are not a smoker. I've never good. been a smoker. Smo oh. Occasional cigar. Smoking increases dopamine in your brain. That's why it's addictive. And these, this gene looks at how, you, how it affects dopamine. We're not there yet for a treatment. But I'll tell you what this study does for me, Arthel. It makes me understand why some people can't quit at all. Other people do it cold turkey. Some people need the nicotine products like the patch, like the gum. Other people use this drug Chantix, which is problematic sometimes. The point is everybody quits different ways, and I think it's related to how how much dopamine cigarettes release in your brain. We're starting down that road with this gene. Interesting.